Mobile games, they are a uh, genre. There's the good stuff. And then there's the other stuff. And then there's the uh, ad simulators. A subgenre of mobile games is city building games. The main example being Clash of Clans and Clash of Clans. I don't have a lot of examples for this. But there's a sub to the subgenre. Dragon City building strategy games. <laughs> there's like a whole bloody genre for some reason. You have Dragon Mania Legends, Dragon Paradise City, Dragon Tamer. But at the top of that list, we have Dragon City. Dragon City, released on the 8th of May 2012, is a mobile game developed by Spanish video game developer Social Point. The same makers behind, of course, Dragon City, Monster Legends, Jurassic... Hunter, hold on. Uh, they also made Social Wars, I guess? Okay, maybe they haven't made that much, but those two games are the main example, right? You've probably heard of those two, very likely played them, given that uh, Monster Legends has 50 million downloads, and Dragon City has 100 million. That's a lot. That's like 1.2% of the entire world's population, I think. Don't quote me on that, I failed math class. So what does this have to do with the title? What is Dragonland? Dragonland, the first 3D platform game on mobile. It's a whole new world. Discover a unique gameplay. Make Dragonland, released on March 8, 2016, was unsurprisingly created by Social Point. Dragonland was a 3D platformer on mobile platforms like iOS and Android with a staggering 10 million down what? Only 10 million! That's a surprise given the other ones have that many. Let me look something up. Uh, what where is where is it? Uh, It's right here. What? So, turns out the game is unlisted on the Google Play Store, and I'm assuming App Store as well. The only way to access it is to go to the website. No wonder it has a little downloads. Well, let's download it and let's play! Oh! Oh! So, turns out the game shut down! It shut down on the 1st of November of 2021. Well, that's why it's unlisted. If I had to take a guess, it's probably because of lack of revenue. With the game only having 10 million downloads, it makes sense. So that the game isn't completely taken off the app store and only unlisted. The website is still up, which would lead me to believe the game was still running. Just because we can't play it anymore doesn't mean we can't have a take a look at it. There's the YouTube channel. Well, let's see. Oh, oh. Hmm. That's not good. Here, I found some gameplay of the game. And no surprise, the game looks really fun, just like I remember it. The game looks really pretty, gameplay looks smooth, and of course, it's full of microtransactions, which is expected. It's a mobile game, after all. Can't have a mobile game for microtransactions, now can we? It's a shame the game had to run on the server. Uh, it's a fate similar to Sonic Runners, you know, a game which also sort of failed like this, not a lot of revenue, that's why it made the connection. Uh, I mean, you could probably run the game on a private server, or make your own, but I'm, I'm not smart enough to make my own and I don't trust people to make custom private servers. Oh. But, why did this happen? So, why did this happen? It's simple really, the mobile platform just no such place for a game like this. It's simple as that. The game clearly had love and effort put into it, 
But since it was free to play, and their only form of revenue was microtransactions and ads. And all the average revenue for ads is what, 2 cents, I think, per ad? So, yeah, relying on that, not, not viable. Definitely not viable. I think this game would have done way better as a full-on game, you just have to pay, up, pay for it upfront, right? Just pay for it, play it all the way through. It, it would have been cool to see it on uh, consoles too, I think it would have done great on consoles, you know, it would have been similar to Spyro in some ways. But well, I'm no genie, nor a fortune teller, so I can't say if what I'm saying is true. But, oh well, mistakes happen, right?